I'm CW Colt. We're in Key West, Florida, one of the only places in the world where you can hear live music up and down the streets. And I can perform for thousands of people every week without even having to leave home. It's a great place to be. And it started when I was about 10 years old and the Beatles came out. And I got this bug about wanting to play. And uh, my father just so happened to be one of the people that were booking a lot of the service clubs in and around San Antonio, Texas. So he brought Chet Atkins over to the house one evening and he sat there and played for about three hours for us kids. And we decided we were either going to be guitar players or we were going to give it up. And uh, I've been playing for 47 years now. Well, when, it, when I really got started playing instruments and stuff, I was up in Estes Park, Colorado. And about that time, uh, the Jefferson Airplane came in and some of the guys from the Grateful Dead, and they all came up there to have a little vacation. They'd get together and they'd play guitars all the time. And I just bought a banjo and I would sit back and play the banjo, and they started calling me Banjo Billy. Until I decided that banjo was kind of holding me back. Because if you hear the name Banjo Billy, you think bluegrass. My music's a lot deeper than just bluegrass or country. It's kind of a Caribbean country blues is what I call it. Come on, Jack Daniels. I think a lot of the distinguishing points of my music has to do with what had happened to me in uh, 1987. I was diagnosed with cancer, and I found this little Chinese doctor outside of San Francisco, and he gave me this tea to drink, and uh, after about two months, he said, okay, the cancer's out of your system. You can go have the tumor cut out. It was in my neck. A lot of traumatizing went on with the uh, vocal cords and stuff, but what it ended up doing was lowering my vocal two octaves. And uh, today, it's just uh, phenomenal what I can do hitting those low tones. Well, my recordings are all about legends and treasures. I kind of went through my whole portfolio and everything and realized I had a lot of songs, and I figured I'd start a series of CDs called Legends and Treasures. And I have 12 CDs that I've, that I've written. As soon as I get them all 12 done, they'll be in a little treasure chest. I'm very influenced by living here in the Keys because there's so much to write about. The sunsets, the, just the love of the islands. It's a beautiful place to, to create and be an artist. People love what I'm doing. People come in constantly and, and request my original songs. I broadcast these shows uh, off my website. People from Alaska, Japan, Australia, China, People watch the show. They'll be just like they're standing in the bar watching me play. They can request because it's a chat room and they can talk to me while I'm playing. It's, it's just an incredible feeling to get up there and to just let loose. <laughs>